What's up guys, Little Monster here, back at it again with another video. Yes, I'm gonna have to change my intros again, I just don't know. I, I don't know what to do, so. <laughs> and I'm not gonna, I refuse to edit, I know I said I would edit like, things when I hit 30 subscribers, but like, I don't know, I might do it when I hit, well I can't say 40 either, cause wait, how many am I at right now? Hold on, I'm gonna check real quick. Just, Jeopardy game real quick. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have 37, so I can't say 40. Maybe when I hit 100, <laughs> I know I keep on saying, okay, well, maybe when I hit this, maybe when I hit that. When I hit 100, maybe, I'll start to edit. Most likely, definitely, by 100, I would be editing. editing. But, um, as of right now, no. <laughs> Just now. I have too much stuff to do and I just might as well just submit it raw, you know what I mean? Anyway, so today we're going to be watching a Darman episode. I guess you can call it an episode since it's, mm, yeah, video. Um, so it is, no one will adopt one twin girl. What happens is shocking. I thought it's what happens next is shocking, but all right. Um, so, let's get started, shall we? Oh, that's kind of loud. Can we start off with, why the hell would you look at your phone and just open the door without knowing who the, who the person is? I didn't even mean to do the light skins there, but no, like seriously, like why would, it could be a kidnapper and more important, your phone than, you know, answering, looking through the peephole of the door, even looking through the window. I get paranoid. I don't open the door for nobody. I literally like, I, I don't even look because I don't have a peephole for my house. I just, we have like this glass door. So basically what. I will do is I will literally go in the next room and look out through the window to see who it is. And if they see me, well, pilots. <laughs> like, actually, shit, I don't even know. Is that even... I think that's Spanish. I'm not so sure. Anyway, whatever. So, yeah. So, if I... If I... <laughs> if, I if, if they see me, then... Uh, shit. But, um, yeah, well... Anyway, so, we'll just continue this. I, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. I came back from work, so. How could you guys keep something like this from me? How could you not tell me I'm adopted? No, no, we, we, we didn't mean to hurt you. We were gonna tell you when you were 18. We... Or, you, or you could just say, oh yeah, no, it's your doppelganger, or I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> when we thought you were ready. You don't get to decide when I'm ready. I have a whole twin sister that I have lived without for 16 years. We didn't know anything about her. Ooh. When we adopted you, your records were sealed. We had no idea Serena existed. Yeah, right. You've got to believe us. Serena's still waiting. We can finish talking about this later. Serena. <laughs> It's really a, a pleasure to meet you, Serena. I'm Lorraine, uh, Summer's mother. And oh, and um, I'm Peter, and uh, I were Summer's parents. Why did you say that with a question? Uh, yeah, and um, I'm Peter, and um, we're we're, we're Summer's parents. Right? Right? Right, honey? We're her parents, right? D do we know this girl? Are you sure it's our kid? Bro. Adoptive parents. Ah! It's nice to meet you. She did not! Adopted parents. Okay, for all you know, your biological parents might have just not even wanted you. They could have been drug addicts, you know what I mean? Like, be grateful. Like, they love you. 
and you're not, I, I, I know a lot of adopted kids are going to get pissed off at me for this, but in her case, like, snap back from reality, like, you're not even biologically their daughter, like, and they love you, like, a lot, you know what I mean, like, be grateful, because if they didn't adopt you, there's a 50%, well, 80% chance that they would, no one would have adopted you, so, uh, yeah. Well, this must be a laugh for you to take into, Serena. And I don't mean that in a mean way. So if, if some people want to roll in the comments being like, Oh my god, she's so mean. Stop it. Because I'm tired of the BS drama. Okay? No. Anyway, let's get back to the video. How did you find us? Um, actually, you're not going to believe it. You see... I was walking through the plaza earlier, and I saw you guys leaving the clothing store. Um, I... How are you gonna bump into someone who looks exactly like you and just walk away like nothing happened? had to do a double take because, well, you know. Um, I wanted to say something, but I got nervous. And when I finally did get the courage to speak, you guys were already leaving. So I followed you home. That's not creepy at all. What, did, did your, your, your twin senses start tingling? You know, spidey senses, twin senses. You know. Um, yeah, so uh, I have one fun question of the day. So if two twins get into an argument and one calls the other one ugly, like, would they even use that as an insult? Like, isn't that technically insulting themselves as well? When they call their twin that? Because they both look the same? You know? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to meet my sister, and I'm, and I'm so sorry if that sounds a little stalkerish, but I just couldn't miss the opportunity to see for myself. And I'm so glad I did. Me too. This is really overwhelming. Yeah. Finding out I'm adopted and I have a twin sister all in less than 20 minutes. Wait, wait, you didn't know you were adopted? Nope. My whole life's been a lie. But that's a whole different story. I want to know more about you. Ah, he's like, bitch, why would you? I just don't understand. Like, why would you just spin off and get mad at your parents? Like, sure, maybe you could be mad at them for, like, not telling you. But, like, they have their reasons. Maybe they just didn't want you to feel like, oh, well, I, I well, they're not really, like, biologically my parents. So, you know, like. I can't, you know, do this or that. Like, you know what I mean? I know it's weird that I'm explaining it like that because I don't really have a proper way of saying it, but, like, they just want them to feel, I guess, comfortable. I guess she just, they just wanted her to feel comfortable, loved, and, you know, not have, like, pain, I guess. I'm sorry, but we're supposed to go to a dinner party tonight. Can't Serena just come with us? No. Uh, you know, it's invite only, and so it's the, the seats are limited. You guys can continue to talk tomorrow after school. I have work after school. Oh, so you have a job. Mm-hmm. Well, that's impressive. Yeah. How about coffee before school? We can meet at the... So you're telling me the twin has a job. This girl doesn't have a job. She's, how old is she? 17, 18? And she's, she, she's being rude to her parents? Like, I'm sorry, what? The plaza where you saw us. Sounds good. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I know you have somewhere to be. Put your number in, sis. I know 
know you're really excited about this. We all are. But we need to take this slow. Yeah. And we don't really know Serena. And I feel really odd about the fact that she followed us home. What are you talking about? She's my blood. More than I could say about you two. I still... I'm gonna have a seizure. <laughs> what? If I said that, if if I was adopted, okay. If I said that to my parents, La Chancla, you know, like like that's. You know, even worse than that. If I said something like that, um, I let's just say that I'd be having an early funeral. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you would hide the most important detail of my life from me. Summer, we said that we would I don't tell you. I hear it. I get it. She's upset, but like, damn, like. Why? Thank you. So, my first question is, do you know anything about our birth parents? I tried for a long time to find them, but no luck. Oh, so that means you're adopted too. How are your adoptive parents? Um, I'd rather not talk about any of that right now. Why? This girl's trying to steal her life. <gasps> Crap. Oh, you know what would have been a really good plot twist? If this girl just never got adopted. And, you know, or she had, like, behavioral problems because she was an abused twin or something. And, like, nobody wanted to adopt her, so she's just trying to steal the life of this girl. I didn't realize what time it was. I better get you to school. Aren't you gonna be late for school too? No. I dropped out. Wait. Really? Why? Look, enough about school. Let's just hang out. We have so many years of catching up to do. Enough about school? This girl's sounding like she's 36. Mine is the dropping out part. But like this this girl has school to learn to get a degree in college. Okay. You know, she slips her grades and what is she in high school? That's gonna affect your um your applications for college. Plus, doesn't she have school? Well, at least thank God she's not in college and doing this because college work is. It's like they want to murder you. You know what I mean? You're you're paying to get murdered. I don't know. I've never I had know. school before. My mom would kill me if she found out. Your mom seems really overprotective. You're 16, basically an adult. What? Basically an adult, um, if you emancipated, because you can emancipate by 14 in the United States, um, then, mm, 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 well, at least in some states, then, yeah, I guess so, but you'd have to be living on your own and have, like, proof of, you know, but this girl's not, you know, like, no, this girl's not an adult. You're not an adult until you're 18, ma'am. You, like... Bro. Look, I'll call the school, pretend to be your mom, tell them you're sick, it'll be fine. Watch. No. 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 Because then, don't you need a note from your mother? Like, like a sick note? Hello, Lorraine Jarvis speaking. <laughs> I'm calling to tell you my daughter is sick today. <laughs> How is that not like 
obvious. You know what I mean? Like, the laughing in the background. The weird voice fabricated like rugs. No. That was pretty good. What the heck? <laughs> Did you even hang up? You too, Claire. Bye bye now. <laughs> Piece of cake. So she didn't even hang up the phone and they were like, <laughs> Bro. They're bad at this. I can't believe they bought it. Were you really that worried? How have you survived all these years without me? Easy, having parents. I don't know. You're the yin to my yang. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta have the stress. No questions asked. You gonna get yours? That's an ugly ass dress. They're both $150. I can't afford this. Can you? Money's not a problem. I have a job, remember? Lucky. If I put this on my mom's credit card, she'd freak. So I'll pass. Y'all have access to your parents' credit cards? At 16? Brain not fully developed or nothing? Bro, growing up with my parents, if I wanted something, like, really bad, like, I would just ask them and they'll be like, yeah, okay, like, whatever. Um, like, yeah, sure. But they would buy it. They would never give me their credit card information. Like, that's just weird. That's personal stuff. That's their shit. Like, no. <laughs> like, plus... You would need a signature. Well, sometimes you would require a signature, but with some credit cards. I've never owned a credit card before, and I'm proud about it. I know everyone's like, and you need to, you know, build credit score, but you can just build it by making sure that you, you know, pay back payments other ways. So, but yeah, no, why have a credit card if you're literally, it's just going to teach you to get in debt, like... Because then you're thinking, oh, I'll pay it back later. I'll pay it back later. I'll pay it back later. And then you never pay it back. And then it just accumulates. Nah. Pass. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? When I said I had a job, I didn't say what kind of job. No, Serena, you can't do that. It's not just a bad idea. You can get into so much trouble. What's the big deal? It's one day of school. Everyone I know has cut before. If you had let us know you didn't want to go, maybe we could have understood. But instead, you just lied. So these are the cool parents, the chill parents. Oh, if you just didn't want to go, just let us know. I'm just flabbergasted. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. How? You guys are one to talk about lying. Shut your trap. Shut your trap. Bro, you be looking, <laughs> you be looking like the, the guy from, from Ice Age with Sid, Sid? Is that his name? Sid the Sloth? Yeah. It's been so long. I, last time I watched that, I was like probably like six or something. I don't know. Bro. No. Oh, the way I would have gotten my, my face mm, beaten into the wall. Yo, no. You don't say that. You just don't say that. No. Watch it, Summer. No. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm cringing in all my bones. Look, look at this. I want to talk about lying. Watch it, Summer. No. This is... No. 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 Okay, I'm done. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's not like I was at some party or something. I was with my twin. We're trying to make up for lost time. We get that. We want you to. But we want you... There's the weekend for that. 
you to be smart about it. You two are making bad choices, and we don't like it. Today is cutting. What's next? Stealing? Yeah. Look. <laughs> yeah. From now on, when you want to go see Serena, one of us is coming with you. Are you kidding me? No. I'm not five. I'm 16. I'm practically an adult. All right. No, Listen, not really. We have to talk about this later. Okay, so... So she's a minor. Technically, at 16, 16 especially, yeah. They they could technically do that, but um, especially with that behavior. But if you're someone like me, who's 20, you know, um, you know, obviously past the minor stage, um, yeah, no, you can't do that. So, she's not 20, so that's the only time that, and she's been doing bad stuff. So this is the only time that it's actually acceptable. But not till after your piano practice. I'm not going to piano practice. I'm going to see Serena. Excuse me. Since when do you tell us what you're gonna do? What's the problem? You guys literally do what you want. You lie to- They're adults. They pay for the roof over your head. Think about it. If you're an adult, that would be a different story. But you're not. Okay. She doesn't even have a job. If she had a job, then maybe, yeah, she's able to do what she wants under some some type of thing. If she helps around the house, yeah, then for sure she should be able to do whatever. But no. No. No jobless underaged. Absolutely not. No. To me for 16 years. That doesn't change the fact that you're our daughter. Am I though? <clears throat> yeah, you are. They own you. They have the papers. <laughs> Summer. Family doesn't require blood. It requires love. One day you're gonna see that. But isn't there that term that like goes around? It's uh, blood is thicker than water. I'm just playing. I, I get what she's trying to say. I mean, in this case, technically they they would be blood. I mean, not like really blood, blood, but like they. Mm, I don't know how to say it. I kind of just mm, whatever. Just their bond might as well just be blood. I guess. I don't know. We're sorry that we didn't tell you everything. But that doesn't change the fact that we're family. Serena is. I don't know about you two. Serena isn't your family. You haven't seen her for years. You didn't grow up with her, okay? These two, they took care of you. They cleaned your diapers, okay? They cleaned whatever, you know, thing that you had picked up after you, supported you. Oh, it's the paper on my desk. Supported you. Pays for practically everything so that you're able to, like, you know, do good. So, um, they are more your family than that little chick who just walked in the doorstep, decided to stalk you on, to like, your way to your house. Um, yeah. Anyways, I gotta go. She's waiting for me. You can't just leave! Summer! Summer, where are you going? Kick her out. No, I'm just playing. She's a, she's a oh, minor. When are you coming back? How did she steal a purse? Uh, so you like New York? Hmm? It's my dream to live there someday. Crazy. So I can't tell if this girl's a con artist. Or... If she is, I'm filming. You want to say hi to the camera? Here's a salad. Thanks. Okay. Bye. That was my little brother. Do you want your um info tagged in the uh, video? No. You sure? Mm -hmm. You kind of bombed my video.
<laughs> okay, anyways, um, no, is she Connors? For real? Also, and look at this. I got salad. I got salad. Yay. I'm going to eat during the video. I don't care. Keep you like a mukbang. ASMR. I don't know where the mic is. I don't know whether it's there or there. If I'm screaming too much, sorry. This is the salad. It's from the Wawa's. All right, let's play it. Mine too. We really are twins. I'm trying to convince my parents to take me there for my birthday next month. Well, after that behavior, oh, wait, you're doing it'll now. be our birthdays. Maybe we can do a trip together. Wait, why are you so dressed up? Remember, I was telling you I have a surprise. Well, we're going out. I wish you would have told me I would have dressed better than this. Oh, don't, don't worry, worry, I have something that. in my closet. Because... No, you stole this dress too. You can say I'm a bit of a professional. How else do you think I can afford all this stuff? Let me guess. The police. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! You weren't lying, Serena. You really do have a twin. Not only a twin, but my new bestie. Summer, meet my friends Asia and Leslie. Nice to meet you guys. Oh my god. This is just like a movie. This is like the parent trap, but without Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. Let's <laughs> celebrate. We will at the party. Party? Yeah, at UCLA. I got us an invite to the Theta XI event. Now hurry up and go get ready. Wait, a college frat party? I don't think I can go, Serena. Are you seriously worried about your parents again? Live a little. You're hanging out with your sister. Oh. You're hanging out with the person who stole. Okay, girls, it's time to turn up. Yes. We need shots ASAP. We'll go get them. I'm not gonna drink. <clears throat> You can if you want to, but I don't think it's a good idea. Summer, we're at a college party. If we don't drink, people are gonna think we're weird. Where's you guys' drinks at? They're coming. See? Just one drink. To double trouble. To double trouble. <laughs> Let's party! <clears throat> Police! Nobody move! <laughs> come on, come on, we gotta go! I dropped my phone! You two look a little young to be here. Let's see some ID. It's a house party. Why would they be too young to be there? Someone posted bail. You're free to go. Both of you. Really? Who? Don't ask questions. Let's just get out of here. The parents. The parents. Yeah. A college party. Have you lost your mind? You're 16. Don't blame her. It was all me. I made her go. Mm. Yeah. About that? Look, I'm sorry, Serena. But I don't want you hanging around Summer anymore. What? You can't do that. We just bailed you two out of jail. I don't know what's going on with you. You cut school. You get caught drinking alcohol. And now this? Summer, this isn't you. But Serena, it's was... okay. Your parents are right. I wish I had someone to care about me the way they care about you. Maybe. And that's where the jealousy is. Maybe I would have turned out different. Don't you have like no. someone? I know you tried to ask me earlier, but the truth is, I have no one. You see. For as long as I can remember, I always wanted to be adopted. I spent so much time in adoption centers only to see other kids get adopted, but not me. Instead, I went from foster home to foster home. And they didn't treat me that well. 
I was more of a business opportunity to them than family. I decided I don't want to be treated that way anymore. So I ran away. I never looked back. I wasn't old enough to get a real job, so I did what I had to do to survive. I'm not proud of those decisions, but it's all I knew at the time. So you see, I never had a family or even someone to love me until I met you. Clearly I ruined that. I'm so sorry. And you guys, you guys don't have to worry about seeing me again. No, Serena, please don't go. You're my sister. It's okay, Summer. I've been by myself my whole life. I can do it again. Take care. Low-key kind of a guilt trip, though, if you think about it. I'm so sorry we didn't know you. Okay, so if she's running away, she, she ran away, then how the how did she get an apartment? Without, like, ID or anything? That's a question. Also, why doesn't she just... They just, like, take in the other twin? You know? I don't know. Think about it. I hope this is... The mic isn't this, because I swear. Hold on. I'm gonna take this out. Summer! <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, my parents asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday, and I told them I wanted to see you. Aww. You're not celebrating alone, are you? No. Okay, maybe I was. Do your parents know you're here? I don't want to get you in any more trouble. Uh. So what yes, about this makes her evil? We do. <laughs> we wanted to bring you your birthday gifts. Gifts? I really wasn't expecting that. I thought you guys hated me. We don't hate you. After you explained everything, we felt really bad for everything that you've been through. We understand why you do what you do. But we just want you to know, you don't have to live like that anymore. Oh. Open your first gift. We want to adopt you. Aww. If you're okay with it. We really want you to live with us. That's sweet. Oh my god, are you serious? After everything I've done? How did you convince them? I didn't. <laughs> it was their idea. Really? You guys are being so nice. I know you're Summer's adoptive parents, but we're not even related. You will be now. Because what I've come to realize is Family doesn't require blood. It only requires love. <laughs> and around here, there's a whole lot of that. So proud of you, sweetie. And we are very loving, but we're also strict. Oh, so fuck. I just want to warn you, if you choose to live with us, Aww. no cutting, no drinking, no going to parties. No. That's not strict. That's basic parenting, but all right. No stealing. Stealing? Oh, um, I just put that on the list, you know, just in case. I can do that. I'm just happy to have a family that loves me. That so, okay. what's in the second bag? Open it. No, no way. Does this mean we're going to New York for Christmas break? You know what that means. Summer and Serena take New York. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess it's true what they say about twins. Not only do they look alike, but they share, share the, the same, same mind. mind. <laughs> Get in here. My girls. Okay, well. 
I guess that's it for today's video. Um, I don't know. Oh, okay, so it was an evil twin. Okay, it was just no one will adopt one twin girl. Okay, I think I saw the other one that said evil twin. I don't know why. Okay, so. All right, so um, uh, I guess this is the finish of this video. I mean, if you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.